Welcome to the BVM ventilation of an APNIC adult patient station. You have already been given the candidate instructions and you now have two minutes to look over your equipment. Okay, I'm going to check over my equipment. I have an adult BVM on this side. I have proper size OPAs, my oxygen bottle, and I also have proper suction with my rigid tip catheter, which does turn on with manual suction. For that, I think I am ready to begin. All set. Mm -hmm. So upon your arrival to the scene, you find a patient lying motionless on the floor. Bystanders tell you that the patient suddenly became unresponsive. The scene is safe and no hemorrhage or other immediate problem is found. You have five minutes to complete this skill. Okay. You said the scene was safe? Yes. And I have my proper BSI on. I'm going to walk up to the patient. I'm going to check for responsiveness. When I look at the patient, does he look at me? He does not. I'm going to say, sir, are you okay? No Does he respond? No response. I'm going to pinch the patient's trap for painful stimuli. Does he respond with that? And the patient is unresponsive. The patient's unresponsive. I'm going to open the airway and I'm going to check for breathing for five, no longer than ten seconds. Do I feel anything? Any signs of breathing? No. And the patient is apneic. Okay, I'm going to call for ALS and I'm also going to check for a uh, carotid pulse for five, no longer than ten seconds. Is there a pulse? And you palpate a weak carotid pulse at a rate of 60. Okay, so my patient is apneic. I'm going to open the patient's airway using a head tilt chin lift. I'm going to look inside of the airway. Do I see anything, any obstructions? The mouth is full of secretions and vomitings. <clears throat> okay, so I'm going to prepare my rigid tip suction. Make sure I cover the catheter once I'm rigid suction. I'm going to measure on the proper side from the corner of the mouth to the earlobe, see how far I can go. I'm going to insert the catheter with the suction off. And I'm going to suction in a circular motion, only as far as I can see, on the way out for no longer than 15 seconds. Is the airway now clear? The mouth and oropharynx are clear. <clears throat> okay, now I'm going to secure the airway with a OPA. I'm going to measure an OPA from the corner of the mouth to the tip of the earlobe. Once I have the proper size, I'm going to insert the OPA with a, with a bevel face roof of the mouth, turning it 180 degrees until it sits flush with the lips. No gag reflex is present, and the patient accepts the airway adjunct. Okay. I'm getting a BVM ready. I'm going to get a proper seal, reopen the airway, and get my first ventilation. And I'm delivering ventilations one every five seconds. Noted. do this for a full minute. And ventilations are being performed without difficulty. Okay, so it's been about a minute. And then I'm going to recheck for the patient's carotid pulse. Five no longer than ten seconds. And the pulse is still present. Okay, and then I'm going to hook my BVM up to 100% oxygen, attaching BVM to the tubing, making sure my O2 bottle is on, attaching it to the stem, and setting this to 15 liters. Reopening the patient's airway, and then giving my ventilations again, one breath every five seconds. Okay. How would you know if you are delivering adequate volumes with each ventilation? Uh, with each ventilation, I'm looking for equal and bilateral chest rise and fall. Okay. Have you successfully completed this station? I have.